I started as an intern, working my way up from the bottom, the traditional, the traditional recording engineer route. I've been here for about five and a, five and a half years at this point, um, and started out as an intern. So Germano Studios itself, uh, it's in the NoHo neighborhood in New York City, um, and it's been around since 2008. The rooms pack a punch as far as outboard selection, Pro Tools, uh, your monitoring options. It's, it's, you know, everything you got at the Hit Factory as, as far as tools and options and stuff, but it's just compact here. And, and it's still cozy, and uh, it's, it's just a, it's a great environment to be. Recently at Germano, I've been working with artists like uh, Kendrick Lamar, uh, with Ruchi Sakamoto, ASAP Rocky. I've been seeing more Broadway stuff here, and work with like Marvel. Finished a single with Bon Jovi. Every day is different, you know, and you know, New York is still kind of a crossroads. So the people that come into town and come through and need a studio, it's different people, different genre. Like you know, you're just learning something every day, like something different. Um, I think that's been the most beautiful part of this for sure. We're just kind of geared for modern recording right now. I mean, I think I think it's been the, uh, the story of the industry has been a need to adapt. As far as the need to accommodate any any you know any types of genres, whether it's hip hop, rock, and Broadway work, uh, you know your your monitoring system, your 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 Pro Tools, your you know your console, it all has to. I I think you know you have to accommodate everybody. And we've had the S3Hs for a hot minute now at the studios, just living on the console. And uh, yeah, I, it's almost, it's been like uh, an experience where I'm trying to change my mixing approach as, as far as just ha as, as, you know, having new inspiration from these monitors. I used to be more of the school of thought where it's like you have to mix on the lowest common denominator. And I think that's a common thing where, you know, stick to something that you can mimic what consumer products are doing. But, you know, now that, now that these monitors are in the room, I'm, I'm almost kind of changing how how you know mixing happens you have to be able to bring it down to reasonable volume but still have the full picture and I think having a midfield uh, such as uh, the S3H's S3HX and now this beautiful you know beautiful new model um, it's it's been essential for offering a, a very clinical perspective I listen to records I've listened to for years, like when I was like, you know, especially first learning speaking, learning how to engineer, you know, you put them on <laughs> the CH or something and it's like, oh, I didn't know there was a, a delay on that side or something, you know, it's like, it, it's just really kind of lifts the veil on some things. You put them on and it's like, the, it's telling you to mix in a different way, you know, moving faders around. It, it just felt like uh, I was on a white canvas. It just so honestly reflects what I'm doing. You know, I, there's never any second guessing. I set them at one level, like really just conversational, maybe a little bit louder. And it's just like, I'm, you know, it's just, I'm engulfed in it. Like it's, it almost feels like I'm listening to main monitors just in front of me. And it's, 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 it's invisible. I don't even, I don't even see it. You know, the high end is, is it's not overhyped. It's not drawing your attention. It's not, it's not distracting you from what's important. It seems to be just like that standard, like that's the image. It's, it's been essential. 